Hello everybody, I'm going to show uh, <clears throat> how to do two things in this video and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody out there. Um, the first thing I'm going to show is uh, <clears throat> how to lock your, uh, if you have another display, a way you can uh, <clears throat> lock your uh, cursor to one display. Like if today a lot of games, um, they run in a borderless window they're not full screen mode so you can uh, if you go to the borders of your game your cursor might jump to the other display and it might mess you up and uh, some games like one of the games that I play has a parameter you can add <clears throat> at the end of the uh, executable like a dash lock mouse and I'll lock the mouse to that game window but a lot of games don't have that feature so if you want to do it yourself you could do it this way and I'm not taking credit for this because I found this on the internet how, how to do this how to do this one even though anybody could have thought of it but I'm going to show you uh, ways you could get to the other screens <clears throat> before without setting it back to normal and then I'll also show in this video how to uh, show both displays at the same time <clears throat> and uh, open broadcast software because <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Sorry, my uh, six acting up a little bit. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> I'm always sick. All right, so let's begin. First, I'm uh, <clears throat> traversing. See my cursor's leaving. It's going to the other. It's going to the other display. So uh, I'm going to block that first. So I'm going to go to display settings. I'm gonna pull my secondary display away from display one and now let's see it's touching I'll still be able to get to it if I go in the top left corner so I want to eliminate that so I'm gonna pull it away again and now they're not touching apply <clears throat> now you see I'm hitting the top I'm hitting the top left corner here and I can't break through to display two <clears throat> now let me go to uh, <clears throat> Let me set this back so I can get over to display two because I'm going to go to display two where I have OBS set up and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, <clears throat> how to set it up to show both displays at the same time in OBS and then I'll go back to the uh, locking your mouse cursor. So let's go to show my secondary display, which has OBS on it. Here it is. You can see I got the infinite loop going on right here. Um, so we're going to go to settings. I'm going to go to video. Oh, my output is currently active, so I'm not going to be able to change the video settings. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, canvas resolution. <clears throat> the x-axis, I'm going to uh, combine the x-axis in pixels of both my displays. So <clears throat> my displays are uh, 1920 wide, both of them. They're both 1080 monitors. So I'm going to do 1920 times 2. That's going to be 3840. So I'm going to set my canvas to 3840. And you can set whatever. That's going to make it, uh, I think it's going to make it, uh, 3840 by 1080 is going to make it 32 by 9 ratio. And uh, the uh, output, as long as the output's uh, uh, 32 uh 32 by 9, uh, 32 by 9 as well. It should, it should look fine. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna set that, and then I'll uh, continue the continue the video. All right, I'm back again. Let me show you the settings. Back to video. I have the canvas set to 3840 by 1080. That's 32 to 9 ratio. You know, x to y. And I have the output <clears throat> 1920 by 540, which matches the aspect ratio. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it's going to have black bars on top in my, in my output video for YouTube. But hopefully you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so that's set. 
say okay to that. And like I said, this is the uh, total width in pixels of both of my displays. So two 1920s is 38 by 40. And if you have two different resolutions, whatever the uh, whatever one has a higher number of pixels for the for the uh, for the y axis, you're gonna want to add that one so nothing gets cut off. But both of mine are 1080, so I just have to put 1080 and uh, both of them will show up. So I'm going to go OK. And you can't see that screen right now because you have to position. You see my canvases. You see one 1920, one 1920 uh, wide display here. But I have a 3840 pixel wide canvas now. So I'm going to take my uh, my uh, primary display and I'm going to move it over to here. And I'm going to lock that in place. And this is my secondary display. That's how I have it oriented. So I'm going to lock that in place. Now you can see I have uh, <clears throat> both um, both displays being recorded by OBS at the same time. Now I could go back to what I was showing in the beginning of the video where I was showing you how to uh, lock your cursor to, to one monitor. Because you can see here. See my cursor is going from one monitor to the other. I'm gonna I'm gonna block that. I'm gonna stop that from happening. But then I'm gonna show you how to get your cursor to the other side without setting your display back to having them <clears throat> connected to each other. So I'm gonna split them up again. Split it up. Do it twice to make sure it's not touching. Apply. All right, so it refreshed. So now you see, I got a barrier here. I can't get, I can't get through. No matter what I do, I can't get through. <laughs> so there's two ways to uh, get to the other side. So I want to get. Ah oh man, I can't, I can't mess with my open broadcast software. I can't get over there. What am I gonna do? So one way is to uh, Alt Tab until your uh, open broadcast software is uh, chosen so i got my open broadcast software selected and i'm going to hold the windows key shift and then up windows key shift and i'm going to hit the uh right mouse key to bring it to my primary display so i just moved it over to my primary display see i still can't get over there but i moved my obs uh, software to my primary display so <clears throat> now i'm going to show you another way you, if you don't want it to come, you don't want to bring it over to your primary display. Another thing you can do. So I'm gonna, I have my uh, OBS software in focus still. I'm gonna hold the Windows key and Shift, and I'm gonna hit the left arrow key this time, and I'm gonna put it, put it back on my secondary display. So now it's back on my secondary display, but I want to leave it there. But I can't get over there now. I haven't been able to get over there. So if I want to get to it, this is this is a way that works. You could do a mouse over down here in the taskbar. Do a mouse over on <clears throat> whatever's on the other screen that you want to get to. And it brings up the little preview window. See that little preview window that pops up? Right click the preview in window, go to move, and that's it. My cursor teleported to the other to the other display. Now I'm stuck on this display. But if you don't want your cursor running from display to the other display while you're playing games, this is something you might want to have. And like I said, these are just two tricks that I showed you how you can get uh, get uh, get to the software you need to get to if the if the if the uh, displays aren't touching and how you can uh, teleport your cursor to another display if you need to. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share. So hopefully this helps somebody out there and uh, <clears throat> That's it for now.